All right, look. The Chicago Bears seem to be settled in on Caleb Williams. It's looking as if they want to take the phenom, the next light-skinned phenom, the end of the NFL. They want to take Caleb Williams. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. You know what I'm saying? They want to get the next Patrick Mahomes. They want to get the next light-skinned phenomenon to wreak havoc on the NFL. You got Mahomes. You got C.J. Stroud. These light-skinned Negroes is putting in work right now. All right, you know, Lamar was supposed to hold it down for his dark-skinned brothers, but he ain't do that. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I can't say I'm dark-skinned. I'm Cam Newton complexion. I can't. <laughs> but uh, look, at the end of the day, right, check this out. Justin Fields is what I would like to call. <sighs> okay. <sighs> If Justin Fields was a quarterback of the 49ers, did he win that Super Bowl? I'm going to start using Brock Purdy as the Mendoza line. When Matt Ryan was playing, I called it the Matt Ryan, the Matt Ryan test, okay? It was the Matt Ryan measurement because Matt Ryan was the definition of he's a better Kirk Cousins. Matt Ryan was a better Kirk Cousins, right? Matt Ryan was, he wasn't great, but he just was never bad. Matt Ryan was always going to be consistent enough to keep you out of the a top pick in his draft. Kind of like Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins will always be consistent enough to keep you out of a top pick in the draft. But he ain't going to win you no damn Super Bowl. So what I'm asking y'all is Brock Purdy, I'm about to make Brock Purdy the new bum-ass quarterback test. Brock Purdy is going to be the face of the fifth unit bum-ass motherfucking quarterback test. If you think your quarterback is a bum, we're going to do the Brock Purdy test. If you don't believe in your quarterback and you want to know if your quarterback is next, we're going to give him the Brock Purdy test. Bears fans, if Justin Fields was the quarterback of the 49ers, do they win that Super Bowl? Because I know for a fact that if Brock Purdy was the quarterback of the Bears, they wouldn't be no better than what they've been under Justin Fields. And and, and this is not just a Justin Fields question right now. Um, Who else need a quarterback right now? If your quarterback is, uh, let me see, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is on the 49ers. Do they win that Super Bowl? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a couple quarterbacks. Uh... What's my man name in uh damn the other team in the division the, the, the Geno Smith yeah if Geno Smith is on the 49ers they didn't win the Super Bowl like all these teams with questionable quarterbacks I ask you if your quarterback was on the 49ers do they win the Super Bowl and my question is absolutely so why does Fist Vegas ask y'all this question? Why does Fist Vegas bring up the Brock Purdy test? I bring up the Brock Purdy test because if you're a team like the Falcons, if you're a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers, you should be trying to get Justin Fields from the Bears. When I hear the Falcons, when I hear the Steelers, when I hear those are the two main teams going after Justin Fields, that makes sense. Because those that that once again it's the Brock Purdy test. If you if you surround an average quarterback with all the weapons in the world and an offensive scheme that he could flourish in, can he win you games? It's the Brock Purdy test. Not everybody's gonna be, not everybody's gonna be Mahomes and 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 win Super Bowls with bum ass niggas at receiver like that's just not normal. That's Brady shit right there. So, you know, not everybody going to do that. Most quarterbacks are going to need a Brock Purdy situation. And you know what? It's not just Brock Purdy. It's the Dak. You, we could really do. We what we could really say this is the Dak Prescott test. So, you know, because, you know, Dak, Dak and Brock Purdy, the same person. Dak and Brock Purdy, the same person. Like one is white, one is black. They the same motherfucking person. One wear red, one wear blue. 
If you surround your quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa will throw his Hawaiian ass in there too. There's certain quarterbacks that I look at and I say, you know what? If you put a quarterback like a Justin Fields with upside, because the thing is Justin Fields' upside is huge. His athleticism, the way he can run the ball, he has a cannon for an arm. He just got to hone the skills in. If you take Justin Fields and you put him on the Cowboys, they're a better team. If you take Justin Fields and you put him on the 49ers or the Miami Dolphins, are they a better team? That's my question. Because if you're the Falcons and you can get Justin Fields and you give him Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Bijan Robinson, you give him all those studs over there, you might be cooking with grease. If you put him in Pittsburgh with Warren and Najee and Pickens and Deontay, you cooking over there. So that's really the, the discussion that we're having right now is... Is Justin Fields good enough to win with talent around him? Because in Chicago, all he has is DJ Moore. I mean, I'm really not that big of a fan of the tight end they got there. I'm forgetting his damn name. You know what I'm saying? He, he I, Damn, what the hell is the tight end name? Oh, man, they just paid his ass, too. I should know this dude. Name. Man, you gotta kiss my ass, bro. It's February. We at the, the end of February. I don't remember half these dudes' names. But you know what I'm saying? I, it's gonna kill me, too. As soon as I'm done recording this video, yeah, somebody gonna leave, leave this dude's name, and it's gonna kill me. But, yeah, they just paid their tight end, too. But, you know, he ain't no Kyle Pitts. So, you know, I, at the end of the day, man, if you could get a first-rounder for Justin Fields, that's all you're getting. I'm maybe even a second round to see because there's a thing, right? The Bears are only gonna get but so much compensation for Justin Fields because he have to pay him. That's the thing. You have to pay Justin Fields. So no, these teams ain't gonna give you a, a king's ransom for a quarterback. They gotta pay forty million dollars to. Because Justin Fields ain't gonna take less money than Daniel Jones. If Daniel Jones got forty, Justin Fields gonna get forty two. Even though Daniel Jones won a won a playoff game on the road versus Minnesota, yeah, we you know he kind of earned that money. I don't think Justin Fields has earned Daniel Jones kind of money because Justin Fields has never proven to be a winning player. As much as I've ripped Daniel Jones for being a bum this year, Daniel Jones showed that you he you can he can win you games. You know, like Dak Prescott, Brent Purdy, we we shit on these dudes. Tua Tagovailoa, he he showed that he could win games. Tua went to the playoffs back to back years. He got hurt last year, and then this year he lost to Kansas City. So when you look at Justin Fields, and you're the Steelers, or you're the Falcons, you I wouldn't want to get his dude forty million dollars because at least these other quarterbacks that you think aren't good, at least they've shown they can win games. He ain't shown he can win games. He's a loser. I told you he got an apple for a brain. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, look, it is what it is, man. We're going to see how this play out. But, yeah, you know, if I'm the Bears, I'm definitely getting Caleb. Definitely getting Caleb. You you passed on Mahomes. You passed on Deshaun. You passed on C.J. Stroud. You can't pass on Caleb Williams. You can't, you can't do it. You really can't do it. But that's it. That's all, man. Throw those FUs in my chat. If you rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.